opposition. Madam Speaker, we have to recognize the difference between fighting climate change and promoting the import of oil. The bloc, the, the New Democrats, are mistaken. We're not against oil. We're against foreign oil. We are importing 130,000 uh, barrels a day. A significant percentage of what is consumed in Quebec is coming from the United States. Yesterday, as most recently as yesterday, I would say that we are the most responsible. We will continue to support our energy industry throughout the, the entire country. Westminster Burnaby. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I was surprised that the leader of the official opposition is the first speaker tonight who hasn't mentioned climate change. Now, Madam Speaker, as you know, last year in British Columbia, we lost 600 British Columbians who died as a result of the heat dome. The atmospheric river last fall cut British Columbia off from the rest of the country, and we've seen now Atlantic Canada experiencing uh, a record amount of destruction as a result of the hurricane. We also know, Madam Speaker, that this tragically uh, will be the first of many in the Caribbean. Uh, the hurricanes are increasing in intensity and increasing in loss of life. And so my question to the Leader of the Opposition is very simple. Uh, the Liberal government, as uh, did the Conservative government before it, is spending billions of dollars in massive subsidies to oil and gas CEOs. Would it not be better for the people of Atlantic Canada that that money be invested in climate mitigation, in fighting back against climate change, and actually eliminate the problem? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Comfort. Well, again, there's no question that the Liberal climate policy has failed. They have missed every single target they have set. And in fact, they said that if they brought in this carbon tax, they would hit the targets. They didn't hit a single target. Now they say they have to triple the carbon tax and cost Canadians thousands of dollars. The parliamentary budget officer has reported that Canadians are paying far more in carbon tax costs than they are getting back in these so-called rebates. And in many provinces, including that members, there is no rebate at all, even though there is a federally imposed carbon tax that will triple in his province, whether his provincial government likes it or not, unless, of course, there is a new government that fights climate change with technology and not taxes. Yeah. Resuming debate, uh, the Honourable Member for Cumberland, Colchester.